In the previous video, we talked about a three-phase balance system. We created a circuit simulation and we understood the different properties of a three-phase balance system. But if any of the things goes, uh, you know, uh, different way in, in, in a balance system, if the load on one phase is changed, then there are a lot of other things that happens in the whole circuit. And that is what we are going to understand in today's video. We will be creating a three-phase load, a three-phase system. We'll make it imbalance and then we'll learn about the different things that happens in the circuit. So if you want to get the details in the easiest way, then you need to watch the video. So again, the circuit simulation that I'm using for this purpose is every circuit. It is available for Android and for you can also access it from your computers. Right. So here what we have taken is we have taken three uh, different sources. So each of 50 hertz, if you see the properties of that, we have taken amplitude is 400 volts, uh, frequency 50 hertz and the phase displacement is 120 degree. The same properties are applied for all the three phases and all these three phases we have connected in a star manner. You can see a star point uh, that we have connected. Now uh, to keep it simple, what I am going to do is I'm going to add a three a resistor as a resistive load but this is you can put it for any type of load inductive capacitive or the combination of all the three for simplicity i'm just keeping it resistive so let me add it all the three here now uh, it is important for us to measure the current flowing through all the three phases so that is the reason why we are going to also add ammeters in series with the each phase again important to remember ammeter we connect in series with the in the circuit right at the load also we will connect in the star manner so here is the ground point now for us it is important to check if there is a current flowing in the neutral or not and for that we are going to add uh, ammeter in series with the neutral as well so here it is uh, the only thing remains is the voltmeter of course that also we will need to check the voltage uh, waveform of each phase so let me add voltmeter across each load so voltmeter how do we connect it yes we connect it in parallel ammeter in series and voltmeter in parallel so this is for the second phase and this is for the third phase now what initially what we will do we will keep the load balanced we will understand the waveform that is coming out of the balanced load and we'll also check if there is a current flowing in to the neutral or not right so we will watch the waveform for this we will watch the waveform for this also and for this also and let us also check the current in the neutral so now let us run this simulation and see the voltage waveforms so you see the voltage waveforms are perfect they are 120 degree apart from each other and hence it is a balanced system which is one of the property of a balanced system now you check the red point here which is our ammeter it shows the reading as zero ampere that means there is no current flowing in the into the system which is again the second property of the balance load now again if you go into a little bit deeper and check the current flowing through each of the ammeter you will notice the current is also equal in all the three phases right so that is balance system now let us do some interesting things here so what we are going to do is we are going to disturb the load that we have here okay so maybe from one we'll put it 500 ohms we'll keep it one and this will change to maybe let's say three kilo ohms now definitely we have disturbed the load now this is no more a balanced system because the load is changed now since the load is changed the current flowing into the system should also change and there should be a current in the neutral let us see if that is correct or not so i'm gonna start so first thing what you can notice is that the waveforms are disturbed definitely right and there is a current in the neutral also so you see the red dot which is our ammeter rms value is 
411 milli ampere so the current has started flowing into the neutral now definitely the amount of current that flows into the neutral is very small compared to the phase wire it depends upon the imbalance in the system and that is the reason why you will see you have heard this uh, uh, word 3.5 core cable right so that 0.5 indicates the wire dedicated wire provided for neutral purpose now why it is called as 0.5 because the size of the core is half compared to the phase wire and hence it is 3.5 core so that is in balanced system uh, current is flowing into the neutral now what we will do we will also check all our ammeters and we will see if the current flowing into that is different which should be definitely the case but let us check it so you see here the rms value of one phase is 565 milliampere the second is 283 milliampere the third is 94.2 milliampere and the red one indicates the current flowing into the neutral wire you notice the waveform uh, very bad completely disturbed and in such situation a neutral is must if you remove the neutral in such situation you will notice the voltage imbalance even if you I have noticed in your home sometimes if the electricity goes and then it come back uh, there is some imbalance the volt bulb start fluctuating there is one reason maybe the neutral is broken or there is some fault with the neutral so when the system is imbalanced which is the practical case in the distribution if you go majority of the load are not balanced or even if you say all the loads you can that is uh, not uh, a very wrong statement i would say in distribution specially uh, so there a neutral is must to have right if you remove the neutral there will be consequences so that is the unbalanced system that we have by the way let me know in the comment section what are some of the examples of unbalanced load and what are some of the examples of the balanced load let us have discussion on the different types of load that you may know right so to summarize uh, we discussed about the balanced and we also saw the uh, circuit simulation for unbalanced system what are the things that we notice first we notice that the current flowing in to the each phase will be different in unbalanced system the second thing is there will be current flowing into the neutral also the voltage waveforms will be disturbed the current waveforms will be disturbed that you can also see on your screen so that is unbalanced load i hope you have you have understood what is the balanced system and what is the unbalanced system if you have if you want to watch the dedicated video on balanced system i'll provide a link for that down in the description you can go and check it out right that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but if you haven't subscribed yet then do subscribe because that helps the channel to grow further and i would really appreciate your support on that right thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning